Galatians chapter 1, verses 8 through 9, the King James Version Bible. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. This drives me crazy. This fills me with righteous anger. It fills me with holy contempt. This is one of my pet peeves, and it happened again last night, so the Holy Spirit said, put the video out. I have a serious, serious, serious problem with so-called Christians. This is what they love to say. You've heard them before so many times. If I give somebody a verse, let's just let's use, for example, what I used last night when Jesus said, and those who say to me, haven't we performed miracles in your name? Haven't we cast out demons in your name and done wonders in your name? And Jesus will tell them, away from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Somebody came by last night and said, oh, oh, two people did. Oh, but uh, he didn't say uh, you have to repent. Uh, you have to repent uh, to go to heaven in, in that scripture. Excuse me? That's the dumbest thing I've heard my entire life. Do you hear what I just read? You're changing the gospel. You're going to be cursed. This, this is almost beyond, this is so ridiculous, it's almost beyond me even making a video. It's almost beyond reason. My, my mind can't wrap itself around how stupid this is. So many Christians now, <coughs> excuse me, so-called Christians, they don't have Christ in their life, they're Ian's. Remove Christ from Christian, they're Ian's. So many little Ian's walking around with this kind of mentality. Let me, let me tell you exactly what this is like. Let me give you a, good, a few good examples, okay? So in other words, let's just say in, uh, in the beginning of the Bible, Genesis 1-1, where God created the heavens and the earth in the, in the beginning of Genesis. So what they're trying to say is every scripture in the Bible should have the entire Bible included in that one scripture. You see what I'm saying? So it should say, in, in, in the beginning, in the beginning, and then it should say, we must repent of our sins to be saved. Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. He, was, he lived a life and was persecuted and, and, uh, and beaten and abused. He died on the cross. Jehovah God is, is the God above all gods. Paul was found on the road to Damascus and struck down and blinded. Uh, John the Baptist baptized people to Christ. Are you guys getting my point? This is what these, these, these ignorant Ian's are trying to say. They're trying to say just because one scripture doesn't have the little tiny piece they want to add to it, that means that that, means that, that part is irrelevant. I am just so sick and tired. This is juvenile. This is, this is preschool stuff. This is preschool, even, even before kindergarten, this is preschool stuff. Preschool Christians, preschool Ian's. The Bible always confirms itself over and over and over again. You will always find multiple confirmations in the Bible for anything you're trying to prove. Don't come to me and tell me if I give you a scripture about Mary and Joseph going to, to, uh, for, to see Jesus born in the, in the manger. Don't tell me because it doesn't say there, you must repent of your sins uh, after you're saved or you'll go to hell. Don't tell me that, that the Bible doesn't say that thing when it says it hundreds of times otherwise. If I give you a scripture about separating the wheat from the tares, don't come and tell me that scripture doesn't, doesn't say Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, so that means that he's not. You see what I'm saying? It's so ignorant. You people are just ran by Satan. You're not just Ian's, you're Satians. Take Christ out of Christian and add Satan, you get a Satian. I'm just so tired of it. And you heard what the Word of God said. If you keep on adding to the gospel and keep on trying to twist and, and pretzel and slice and dice and cut and paste, you'll be accursed. You better stop it. The gospel is written, it's preached. The way it's written, I preach it to you the way it's written. Don't try to change what I preach. Don't try to change what God wrote in His Word. Because you will be accursed. I'm just so tired of it. My mind is just, I got a raging headache today. And, and, and I think this is a big part of, of the reason why. This is, like I said, this is beyond any type of reasoning, be, beyond any type any type of, of, of consideration. I just can't believe people do this. It's a growing number, though. You see them all the time on your wall. You see them on YouTube commenting on your videos. Satan truly has the church right now, my friends. He has got a large lion's share of the church. The great apostasy rages everywhere. Christians are growing apostate by the minute, and God said in his own word, once a Christian becomes fully apostate, it's impossible for them to return to Jesus Christ. Impossible. That means it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, my friends. There are so many backsliders that just, oh, they're just, they just let Satan run their lives, and they try to ruin our ministries, and they try to just dig at us and eat at us. Instead of them helping us, 
reap the harvest that's so plentiful it's rotting in the fields. They're trying to ruin us. They're trying to make things harder to reap the harvest when they should be right alongside of us. It just makes me sick. It makes me want to vomit. It fills me with righteous anger and holy discontent. But you know what? Jesus Christ is returning imminently any second of any day. Only God knows the day and the hour. We know it's close, man. We know it's real close. Just talking to my wife about this big Mayan thing, December 21st, this nonsense, stupidity. Just posted on Facebook as well. Everyone's looking for people are committing suicide everywhere. Can you believe that? They're stocking up on candles on food. They're buying they're buying camping spots for like up to a thousand dollars in some field in France that they said the aliens are gonna come out of the mountain and save them. Christ is gonna return like a thief in the night. I'm not saying he's gonna come before December 21st, but wouldn't it be cool if he did? No one's looking for him right now. He would truly come like a thief in the night if he came before the 21st of December before this stupid Mayan garbage. We need to understand though, whenever he comes, it's, it's gonna be any second of any day. The twinkling of an eye, that's it. He's gonna come and be gone. There's no time for do there's no, oh wait a sec, Jesus, oh it's just getting ready to repent. Oh, time out, Jesus, oh, whoa, 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 wait a sec, Jesus. None of that. You're stuck left behind for seven years of hell on earth that makes today's evil, wicked world, today's filthy world look like watching sitting around watching reruns of the, of the Blandest Blitz all day. <laughs> you have to be my age to remember them. That's what it's going to be compared to. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm just so tired of, of, of Christians not being ready for the rapture of lying about the holy word of God, God's own words, calling God the creator of heaven in the universe, Jehovah God calling him a liar by twisting his word around. How dare you? Shame on you. Woe, woe, woe unto you. You better get right soon, Christian, because this is, this is the bottom line. I've said it many times. There's one or two things going on. Either you're lying about what the Bible says or God's lying about what the Bible says. Now you tell me who's lying. It's a no-brainer. My Father, Jehovah God, my Heavenly Father does not lie. Jesus Christ does not lie. The Holy Spirit does not lie. You are a liar. You're lying if you twist God's word. Let's pray. I love you, Jesus, so much, and I thank you for your love and for your mercy and for your kindness and for your your long-suffering and patience is unbelievable. So is, so is your Father God's. I can't understand your patience in this wicked, filthy, evil world. I pray that for all Christians who are backslidden and all Christians who twist your word to make to suit their own their own uh, meaning and their own desires, I pray you'd make their life a living hell every moment of every day, day and night, 24-7. And those who don't know you as Lord and Savior, I pray that who have never been saved, that you would tug on their hearts till they come to know you as Lord and Savior. And those of us who are saved by your blood, living the way the Bible says, if we're too lazy and just too uncaring to get out and witness to the lost, I pray you'd make our life a living hell day and night as well. I ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. Come live in my heart. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's a living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He's your new best friend. He loves you. He wants to talk to you every single day. Get water baptized as soon as possible. Dunked under water in a Christian church the right way. Sprinkle baptized doesn't count. Do it over again if that's the, if that's the way you've been baptized in the past. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified from head to toe as you draw closer to Christ. What little time we have left before the imminent rapture. You get this way, sanctified by praying and reading God's word and living for him. Take your King James Virgin Bible to church when the pastor preaches, when I preach, any of us do. You check what that Bible says. If it don't match, you close it, you walk out of church immediately, you unfriend, you unsubscribe, you run for your life. Because anyone who lied to you in Jesus' name, anyone who will lie to you about what Jehovah God says, his own words in the Bible, they'll drag you to hell, my friends. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord, I've got it. And I will pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's within his holy will. And if he does, it'll be all for his praise, honor, glory, power, might, majesty, strength, love, compassion, mercy, kindness, tenderness, gentleness, understanding. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Please share the link to this channel, this video with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy fluff, the garbage you hear all across the internet, the center net, all across churches everywhere, that's the word that leads to hell. 
the word that leads to heaven, that points you to the cross of Christ, that makes you want to repent, that makes you fall on your knees, ask Jesus Christ to wash you with his precious blood and save your soul, is a King James Version Bible. First chapter book, Genesis to Revelation, cover to cover, all 66 books, the way I preach on this channel. Not because I'm anything, it's God's everything. I love you guys and pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.